Oh dear, cooking already, eh? Yep, just the stuffing. Oh. What? Yeah, we're full up. <laughs> well, the turkey takes up a lot of room. And then there's the pork. Can the, can the drinks go in the laundry for now? Um, oh, all right. I'll uh, bring some ice home from work. Okay. What's under the cloth? The ham. Oh. It's only a little one. Oh, Kevin, the giblets. Giblets? Yeah, I'm uh, browning squirrogans and thing is for the... Oh, you know, there's so many edible animals in the world. <laughs> well, it's just as well you don't eat meat, Harold. Otherwise, there'd be no room for me in the kitchen at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, Harold, I'm sorry. What? Oh, no, no, no. I could afford to trim off a bit. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I just... It's, it's just all this, you know. I don't see the point if David's not going to be here to share it. Oh. That's what this is all about, eh? Yeah, but I shouldn't take my bad meat out on you. No, not at all my fault, too, eh? <laughs> all being rude about the meat. <laughs> Look, I promise there will be lots of lovely vegetarian dishes for you tomorrow. We'll have spinach pie and... You're really spinach. worried about David, aren't you? Well, you know how he feels about Christmas. I mean, just imagine how awful he's going to feel when he wakes up and... I don't think he feels that he has any option. I know, I know. And I'm sure he wouldn't want us to go moping around. I tell you what, we'll make lots of lovely phone calls tomorrow and include him in the fun. Fun? Well, yes, of course. Well, with you and all your, your lovely cooking, my two <laughs> gorgeous granddaughters, that could be anything else. <laughs> and, and later on in January, when we're all together, we'll celebrate your Serbian Christmas, eh? Really? You wouldn't mind? No. <laughs> of course not. It'd be a brand new experience for me. No. <laughs> but, but in the meantime, we'll just make the most of tomorrow. Yeah. For the girls. Oh, bless you, Tata. Bless you.